Hey guys and welcome back to the 8th part of this video series. We are covering up the tutorial very quickly, very fast. So let's get on with this one. In this part we are just going to create a parallax image. So it's going to be very simple. Let's create a section tag and class wrapper as always. Since this section tag will define a parallax image, let's have the ID parallax image. Then create a article tag and class D hyphen flex hyphen C because we want all the elements inside it to be aligned in different rows but in single column and container to add the padding around it then text center to center align the text then get inside and let's create the title first so for that create a div and class my-2 to add two rem of margin on the top and bottom then define the title and you can write any text then get below it and create a p tag this is the subtitle alright then get outside the div and then create a new div this is for the button and we are going to define the button in the same way that we have defined And this M% R A Q U O semicolon is the code for that arrow, right arrow. If you want to have that arrow, you can use it, otherwise, you can get rid of this. Alright, then let's move to the CSS and let's refer to the section by using the ID parallax hyphen image. And since we refer to the ID with hash symbol, so add the hash symbol. Then let's define the background image. And fixed hyphen no repeat. Fixed because we want to have a parallax effect that is we want the background attachment to be set to fixed so that when we scroll through the page we want this part or this element to be fixed to its place and not scroll with the page no repeat since we don't want the image to be repeated and anyways if you don't like this image or if this image is too dark then you can change the image there are plenty of images in the starter files folder that I have provided you in the description of this video. You can change the image. Alright. So this part is also over. It was very simple and very easy. So thanks for watching.